What's up guys? Um, doing a quick, quick video, quick review on this guy. And I told myself that I was not going to get any of the robots and disguise figures. But I went to Target today and I saw this guy on the shelf. They had all of them there. And I really like this guy. Are they worth $14.99? And if you go to Toys R Us, you're paying $16.99. Are they worth that? I don't know. Probably not. It's a small figure. But I love Grimlock. So I had to pick it up. So I just want to show you I'm in package. 10 step transformation. I'm trying to get a hold of the Combiner Wars. But I don't know. I'm, I'm interested in them. But I don't know if I'm going to get them. We'll see. If I see them in the store maybe. But I know there's a few places that have them right now. But we'll see. But uh, I'll be back when I get this guy opened up. Alright guys. So I've got Grimlock opened up. And um, he's pretty cool. He is very small. Um... I'm not sure how much I like that portion of it, but he's um, he's definitely neat. Um, excuse my pit mat having oil stains on it. Um, I'm a review mat. But um, yeah, really cool figure. He's got that little gimmick here. He's, um, he's neat. Super light. I will be honest, I am not a fan of... The new plastic that Hasbro's using, I said this in my brainstorm review, um, I'll say it in this one, the plastic feels cheap, it almost feels knockoffy. but whatever, it is what it is, I mean, it's basically the, the times, you know, everything changes, so, must be a cheaper plastic that they use to cut costs, but charge us more, I'm not sure, but, um, it's still a cool figure, uh, I'm not regretting that I bought it, I love anything Grimlock, so I'm cool. Uh, cool with it, but it is what it is. Transformation's pretty easy. I'll get right into it. Um, you want to just pull these legs out. And I like to just bring these right up right away. Get them out of the way. He's tab right in, so you're going to bring those, his uh, dinosaur arms or whatever he is, arms back. These, you're going to spin them around. And you can actually, you want to pull out the hands, spin it around. And spin it around. So those come out. So now, we'll go down to the tail here. So we're trying to do is separate that, split everything, fold this tail piece right in. And you actually want to bring that piece out and spin it around. And it just pegs right in. Pull the feet out. Same with this side. Just going to work its way out. They just kind of grooves right in. Um, it's super loose, but it's not like it's broken or anything. It's just the way they made it. So that's that. Pull the head back. Locks right into place. And that's it. There you have Grimlock. Um, all in all, pretty cool figure. I wish it was a little tighter um, as far as like the way things clip in. Um, you know, these leg pieces are not the tightest thing, but not bad by any means. Um, you can see the new Autobot logo. Mine's pretty good, pretty straight. Um, definitely a neat figure. I wish it was some sort of um, weapon or something, you know. It's a little disappointing that he doesn't have any kind of weapons. Um, this one clearly does not stay in very well, but it's okay. It is what it is. Um, you can see the back, super hollow and plasticky, but all good in the same sense. I mean, again, the new figures, they are what they are. I, After seeing this guy, I am not 100% sure that I'm going to get uh, the combiners and stuff, but we'll see. We'll see. I could be wrong, but um, he's really cool. Again, I mean, for 15 bucks, pushing it. 10 bucks, sure. Um, but it is what it is. Again, it's a neat figure. Not something I intended on buying today, but it is uh, definitely cool. Uh, so pick them up if you can, but uh, it's your choice. And uh, I'll be back, guys. I got some more videos coming, obviously. Please keep favoring, liking, subscribing. I appreciate everything.